I'm sitting over here in the commander's seat, and on, of course, the final flight, this is where Mark Kelly sat on liftoff and when he brought her in for that final landing. This is their living quarters, you know, we're in the, we're in the mid deck now, flight deck's above us, so mid deck's where they eat, sleep, potty, you know, do their normal. And, and you could have five, six, seven people down here all at once. Definitely, and there's not as much equipment in here now as there would be on launch day, so I mean, there'd be lockers out to here about 18 inches. There's not a lot of room up here in the cockpit, but if you've got something to do out in the cargo bay, or if you need to work and just maneuver the space shuttle, you can do it all right from here. You can maneuver the shuttle from here. You can work the robotic arm from here. And right out there is the massive cargo bay. Do we know if any of these shuttles, when they finally sort of hit their final resting place, wherever in the country that is, that any of the members of the public will actually be able to crawl around inside just like you did? My understanding is no, you will not be able to. You'll be able to look in the hatch like we were able when you, where you crawl in. You'll be able to look through the glass in the front, through the cockpit. And it's all going to depend on the displays. But I tell you, for the workers here who have been fortunate enough to stay uh, and finish up these jobs, it's been very, very difficult. The thing that we've been trying to focus on is, is how fortunate we are to continue to work with these vehicles until the very end. There's a lot of our co-workers and friends that didn't get that opportunity. So there's a small group of us that have been very fortunate to be a part of this. And, and we're shuttle huggers. We're holding on to the very end. Endeavor's going to go out to the California Science Center. That's going to be sometime in the fall. Atlantis is going to stay here. It'll be ferried over to the visitor complex, so they don't have to put it on the back of a 747 to transport it. But the big show is going to be next month. April 17th, Discovery, the oldest of the shuttles. It is going to be put on a 747, ferried out of here from right over at the, uh, the uh, landing strip uh, at about daybreak on the 17th. Thousands of people are going to be here to watch that. And then it's going to fly up the east coast of the U.S. so more people can see it. It'll arrive at Dulles in Washington by 1030 in the morning. They're going to start work on uh, getting it into the museum. So it'll be the first one on permanent display in a museum. And that is going to be one heck of a spectacular day on the 17th of April.